Hello play to earn gamers! We continue exploring the gaming domain on the WAX blockchain. Today we're looking at a strategy classic, Prospectus. One of the first MMO play to earn titles has come a long way and gained a huge loyal fanbase over the years. But don't think there's nothing left for the newcomers. In this video, we'll cover the basics of the game and lay out the most logical path for you to progress. Let's go! Prospectus takes us to the 19th century US during its golden rush times. This design decision hasn't only affected the overall aesthetics, but gameplay too. You are assuming a role of a rookie proprietor with three workers trying to make it big in the land of the free. And so you're making it from a contractor and explorer to a landowner and a mining mogul. We'll be using the desktop version, but you will have all of those features on mobile as well. So let's have a look at the screen layout here. On top, you can see all of the information about your own account, your current gold, balance, information about other users and the things happening on the map. So for example, you can filter your map view in such a way that it shows you free plots, plots containing certain deposits. You can look up other players in the search or the leaderboard. Here in the left corner and in the right corner, you have your account name, the settings and some of the social functions such as messages and alliances. And by the way, we definitely recommend you join one because as we might see later on, there are some jobs that are exclusive to alliance members only. Down below here, you have your trusty workers and from those pop-up icons, you can send them to the plot that is currently highlighted on the map like that, initiate an exchange between them or pinpoint their location on the map. You can click on their icons, of course, to see the expanded view, the contents of their backpacks, their qualifications and so on. On the opposite side, we have a lot of icons, so let's go over each and every one of them. Market is where you buy and sell different sorts of resources, materials, tools, transportation devices and so on. So for selling, this is where you make gold. And for buying, this is where you get more tools or anything to help you on the jobs, really, to either complete them faster or enhance the scope. Speaking of the jobs, the job board is our next icon. Now, as a beginner player, you would typically be stuck performing transporting jobs first, but the demand for those is high, so there may not be a lot of them available. You can see that there are either no workplaces or it's too far away or it's exclusive to the Alliance members. But generally speaking, if you did saw a free slot somewhere on the job, you would hit the perform button, choose your worker, review the conditions once again. And if you agree with them, hit the perform button again and sign a transaction. There are some jobs that do not require the tools, even though they say they do. This is what one of my workers has been doing. He was mining clay because it does not require any tools. It can't be mined with hands. Obviously, he didn't earn a lot by doing that and he can only do that much. But I'm going to send him on the job once again, just to show you how it works. And there you go. Next is land registry, where people auction off the rented plots that they don't want anymore for some reason. So they essentially pass the rent on to someone else with some extra interest. Of course, those are mostly not just empty patches, but places with already some operations going on there. 
some buildings. So it typically pays off to rent those because you would be able to make it all back in no time. And it is also not the bad uh, way to make some gold once you have elaborated operations on your rented plot. And if you feel like getting rid of that, this is where you go to. Then all your stuff is where you have an overview of everything that's in your storages across different land patches, your workers' backpacks, and so on and so forth. Finally, the most useful feature for a new player probably is the wiki. It's pretty much imperative that you check it out if you're only starting on prospectors because it contains a lot of helpful information about pretty much everything. With the resources, for example, you can see what they're used to produce, what kind of tools they require, and many other things. So the gist of it all is to basically make as much gold as possible by either reselling the things or obtaining them by mining or crafting or building and then putting them out on the market. There are other ways to make gold, of course. One would be via the central bank. As you may know, the prospector's gold can be converted into a crypto token, PGL. So this is where it comes into play. You can use the exchange function to convert your gold into PGL and then deposit these tokens in the central bank to earn extra interest on your deposit. So currently, we can see that per 10,000 PGL, you can expect about 4.6 PGL on top. You can also open your own banking branch by obtaining a license and earn via fees. So any kind of operations process with you, through your bank will be charged a little bit of extra and those profits go to you. Finally, there is also the gambling parlor, the EOS Real. However, since it is largely dependent on luck and since gambling is a highly addictive activity, we do not recommend you going down that route, but we wanted to let you know that this is also an option. As a closing remark, we'd like to share a couple of pointers with you. So first, try to spread your workers around as much as possible. That'll help you beat the competition to certain jobs or unprospected plots with a lot of resources and might also make transporting things in between your own locations and plots easier. And that was our look at Prospectors. Hope you enjoy this game! Join our Wombat Gamers Discord server and be on the lookout for more guides and let's plays. And check back on Wombly for more games to play and earn with. By the way, we're doing this special event with Prospectors on Wax and we'd love to see you there. So stay playing and slaying! Ciao!